What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with another 2-in-1 review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 93 Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and T-Bar figures. Now these are two figures that I don't think we necessarily needed. You know, we did need to fill out our retribution there. You know, we're slowly but surely getting that. We'll pretty much complete it once we get Mace in Elite Series 94. But we're slowly but surely completing that set. Most worthless faction in WWE history probably. But nonetheless, man, we got some good stuff going on right here. Should be an interesting review we dive in not going in with too high of expectations but i am excited about a few things about these figures which we're going to get into if you guys would like to grab these or any wwe or aew action figure products go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there always use code md toys and always select priority shipping nonetheless i'm filming this on easter so a happy easter to everybody out there hope you're enjoying all the good things with the family and having a blessed and highly favored day but here we go we got ricky the dragon we got t-bar going right here i'd much rather have a Ricky the Dragon Steamboat than a T-Bar, but you know it is what it is. Beautiful images of the talents right there. On the back, we get a shot of both in-ring talents there. You, of course, have your bio read, so if you'd like to read it, pause it now. I'd also like to say, do, does anybody pause the video and actually read the stuff when I do this? I've done this a bunch in my career, and I never stop to think, do people actually read the bios? On the side, you got their names right there, as always, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging for our Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and our T-Bar figure, or Dominic Dodge Dijakovic. Would r much rather have had a Dijakovic Elite. You know, we did get his basic. I don't, I unfortunately have never purchased it. Seen it at retail a bunch. I've seen a ton of the NXT talent in basic form at retail, and I always pass on him, man. Kind of sad, honestly. Probably should be grabbing those, but uh, here I am. Nonetheless, let's crack Ricky the Dragon and T-Bar out of the packaging and finish up Elite Series 93. And then, of course, we will have our My Damn Thoughts dropping soon, so definitely check out Elite Series 93 My Damn Thoughts. Christ on a bike. So here's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and T-Bar out of their packaging. Liking what I'm seeing, I've had a lot of fun posing these guys around with their accessories and kind of, you know, seeing what we got between them. And I'm pretty impressed with them so far, man, but we do have to dive into the details, find out what they're all about. We are going to start off with T-Bar's accessories and get into T-Bar and see what he's like, and then we will, of course, run it back and take a closer look at Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's accessories and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat himself, man. So we are going to dive into that now, so let's go ahead and get started. So getting into T-Bar's accessories, man, let's start things off first with the beautiful cloth jacket entrance coat right here. I love this thing. I think it looks fantastic. I don't know if this is the exact one that came with Rikishi. Maybe it wasn't Rikishi. Maybe it was Aiden English or something like that. Very similar to Aiden English. Alright, it was very similar to Aiden English. I love the way the cloth looks though. I like that you have this like little hood back here. I don't think it's quite a hood, but it's like kind of a half hood there. Maybe it was meant to be a hood. It's just not operational. It's a little shallow there. But anytime we get stuff like this, I mean, I'll take this over any rubber jacket you could ever even imagine you know what i mean like I, I do don't ever look at me with a rubber jacket ever again i will take this over that a hundred times out of a hundred uh even if you miss details i still like this better you know what i mean like i know sometimes you can't include the studs or you can't include like things like that i'd rather have a cloth jacket that resembles the jacket in some way rather than having the rubber this is nice to see feels good in the hand you guys know now getting into the head sculpts this is the unmasked head sculpt you got the face paint going down with your black white silver and red going down i like the likeness i want to say this is slightly different than the basic Dijakovic head we got but you do have like the like clean shaven all the way around I don't know if he's supposed to have a fade or like it's supposed to be you know clean shaven or whatever but the mohawk looks good it looks like Dijakovic so that's really all I can say the five o'clock shadow looks good he kind of looks like that one actor off of uh I don't even remember the name of the show I hated the show so I can't remember who, who cares anyways head sculpt looks good I like that one and then we have the mask one now one thing that threw me off about this is that I forgot that he was like bald underneath or like like shaved underneath so it kind of threw me off a little bit but the sculpt is very good man it has a real bane s kind of feel going down like they even have the buckles and the straps all sculpted in i mean you got to praise mattel on that you have the paint going all the way through all this looks sick man i mean if you wanted to take this head and customize it a little bit you could easily make a create a wrestler you could do a lot of fun things with it i love the way the face mask looks with like the these springs and like the way it is sculpted in there they did a really good job i think it looks excellent man i like i, I really have no problems with this they knocked it out of the park face paint looks good eyes are looking like maybe slightly up and to the left but not a big deal i think this is a great head sculpt and they really captured it man that's that's pretty cool right there good job on mattel for that and then outside of that we do have interchangeable hands you have your fisted hands and they actually gave him the black peg so he gets the favorable treatment there over seth rollins outside of that he also comes with mic holding hands so you get the solid black gloved mic holding hands and the solid black gloved fist even though you can see the fingertips and stuff like that they are just solid black hands not a huge deal there but you do get them so start 
off a of T-bar at the top of the head sculpt, man. This head sculpt's solid. Again, we took a look at it just a second ago, but I think it fits the body really well, man. Like, if you, you're checking it out right here, I think it looks really, really clean. How it transitions to the body and to the legs, I think it looks really, really clean. Like, that's that's very nice here. I'm, I'm actually liking this figure a whole lot more than I thought I would. Torso choice is eh, you know, if you look here and then look here, like, he's not as cut as he was as Dijakovic. It's just not a huge, you know, like, deal breaker or anything. It's just, you know, you can, you can see the differences there. You do have these nice bicep bands painted on there. These elbow pads, I'm very glad to see these open elbow pads. They don't ever give them to Bret Hart. Like, we don't see these a lot. I think these have came on, like, two or three figures ever, not counting, like, Dusty Rhodes or something, but they fall right off the figure. Like, they don't stay, stay on at all. Like, the only way you can get it is if you push it up over the bicep, and even then, like, look how loose it is. So, that is a bit annoying. I'll probably put them on a different character, to be honest, because I'll probably have either the jacket or something on this guy instead. But going down, you do have the Retribution logo on the crotch piece, and I believe these are the Sami Zayn slash, you know, like Colonel Mustafa legs, if I'm not mistaken. Got the nice belt on there, black gloves, black wrist tape, tall black boots, and everything like that. Here's a full shot of the figure with the head on this body. Like, dude, I, I like the way this looks, honestly. Like, I'm honestly blown away by how we're getting here. Articulation's very good. Like, I, I love the way he can move around. See, the elbow pads are all loosey-goosey, man, to be honest with you. Solid ab crunch, not a, not a loose waist at all. You do get a nice ball crunch. Ball crunch. You get a nice ball joint split. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I gotta make that a running thing now. He's got the ball crunch split. I bet not even a lot of people are gonna watch this video, so they'll miss out on that inside joke. Nonetheless, man, pretty impressed with this T-Bar. Now, for your T-Bar figure comparisons, here is the other members of Retribution outside of Mace. We have Mustafa Ali, and then, of course, we have Reckoning here, and I do probably need to put the masthead sculpt and the, the, you know, the jacket on there to fully complete the look. That way, you know exactly what you're getting there with all three members, but all these guys fit well. You know, all their black gear. It's kind of sickening because the way they put Ali and they put T-Bar and they put Reckoning and Mace out there, they probably thought they'd be a big time part of television right now, and they just are not what they were meant to be, I guess. They're not living up to that name. And here's T-Bar in his full getup. I think these figures look really sick next to each other. I, I'd love to see what Mace looks like. I think they're gonna look really cool up on the shelf. I just think in in fruition, man, on WWE television, it was just a failure. So, that's unfortunate. So, getting into Steamboat's accessories, excluding his removable headband, we do have a beautiful new championship, and this is the WCW World Television title, or the World Television Championship, or the TV title, whatever you want to say here, and it looks really good. I love the way the classic belt looks. I, I like the WCW logo up there. Again, I don't know if this is exactly accurate to the title that he held at the time. I'm not entirely sure. You know, I don't know all the specifics of this said championship, but it looks good. I like the side plates. I like the way everything looks here. If you want this belt in your collection, you're better off buying the sick-ass Steamboat at retail or 25 bucks, 30 bucks, and then getting this title, because I guarantee this title alone is going to go for 20 25 aftermarket, so you might as well get a sick-ass steamboat to go with your sick-ass title. So that's just my, you know, what I'm just throwing in my two cents there. You could put this on a world of people there, but this looks nice from the 90s, looking pretty clean right there. Always favorable of championships. We also have these weird, now I think this is the first time we're seeing these hands, but they're like these. I mean, I don't be, want to be weird, but it's grabby hands, if you get what I'm saying. You know, you got the grabby hand. They're way too big for a steamboat. Honestly, these hands are massive. I think that these could go on a different guy. I don't think they fit well in the steamboat if you guys have noticed already, but, uh, I mean, I like the sculpt. They look good and everything. It's just a weird shape. I mean, I guess they could be, like, pre-grappling hands. It's just very odd, you know? It's it's very odd there. I don't know. Like, I guess you could do, like, some specific holds and stuff like that, you know, like technical wrestling. It's just a, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like you can accomplish the same goal with these mic-holding hands. Maybe not as specific, but the mic-holding hands make the world go round, and, yeah, you get your grabby hands to go with it. So, starting off the top with the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat head. Again, this head sculpt is actually not the best, okay? I, I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt. I don't think it's terrible, but I think it makes him look a lot older than he was at that time, maybe. Like, I don't think it really fits the time frame. Uh, this head sculpt, or not head sculpt, but this headband is actually removable if you just pull it off right here from the back, and that's pretty cool. I like that. You know, you could put him in, like, a suit. I mean, you could do some really cool stuff with this. You know, change his gear out a little bit. You got the black hair on there. Nice sculpt going on with it. I like this. I like this sculpt. I just don't, uh, I don't prefer it over others. You know what I'm saying? But the headband's nice. It does come off. It's in a red color, and you can just plop that back on there. And I think that's the first time we've seen that from a Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I always feel like I can't call him Ricky Steamboat. I always have to throw the dragon in there. But going down to the torso, he does have the Finn Balor style torso, which is beautiful to see on here. I like it. You know, he was a lean guy. If they used the, you know, the Daniel Bryan torso or something like that, it probably could have worked as well. But I do like the musculature that he's got going. Figure feels really good in the hand, man. You, if if you guys know what that means on the channel, when I say it, if I if I ever say a figure feels good in the hand, it's worth the pickup. Like, 
when you just put this figure in the hand and you pose it around, it feels really damn good. It has really good articulation. It's smooth. It's like butter. You don't have a lot of issues with it. Going down into the tights, we do have another white tight steamboat, but the dragon on here that's airbrushed on looks so cool, man. You got steamboat there wrapping around the dragon and the colorway going on. It does go around on the butt cheek. Really cool stuff, man. I actually like these tights a whole lot. I can't wait to see what the yellow version looks like, but I love all this detail we have going down. And then you do get beautiful boots right here with the same, not the same dragon, but a similar dragon design going down, wrapping up on the foot with the white outsoles. Very clean, man. Very, very clean. I think it really completes the look. Like the white and red and orange texture you get here, blending in with the boots is really, really clean. Again, man, just a really fun figure. Like, he, he just moves around incredibly well. It's honestly just crazy. I mean, I didn't expect it to be a stiffy piece of ish, but at the same time, this is one of those guys I'm going to literally just leave on my desk to pick up and pose around and make people their bish. Just make them bend at the will of Ricky Dragon Steamboat. And then for your dragon comparisons, here is the fan takeover version of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, which is still my favorite, I think. I think. I don't know. I think if you did a kit bash between the two, you could have a winner over here on the right, but I do love the white boots. I think this figure is articulated better. Like, I feel like he feels better in the hand and can move around a lot better, but I love the gi we get over here. I actually like this head sculpt a whole lot more, in my honest opinion. The one on the left is a lot better to me in my eyes as far as the head sculpts go, but I don't think you can go wrong. I think both are a really nice Ricky the Dragon Steamboat figure. Anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up this 2-in-1 Elite 93 review on Ricky Steamboat and T-Bar, man. Enjoying these figures quite a bit more than I thought I would. I think the Ricky Steamboat is excellent. I think if you missed out on the fan takeover or you don't own the Defining Moments or just any of those different things, man, you want to check these out. I think they are definitely worth the pickup, or at least Ricky Steamboat is. But Ricky passes all of the different things. I love his types. I like the removable headband. I don't think it's his best head sculpt, but I do like the fact that you can remove the headband. I love the championship that we're getting here first time on the line that we're getting the championship. I think it's excellent, man. I think if you need this title in your collection, if you've missed out on Ricky Steamboat or you want to trade one of your other ones, sell one of your other ones and pick this one up, I would totally understand it. Very damn good Ricky Steamboat right here. I actually enjoy it a whole lot. I got to get my hands on the chase. I think the yellow attire is really sick. And then T-Bar, you know, I think he has some interesting sculpts here with his pants. I think that, you know, the head sculpt with the mask is cool. Maybe you want to use the Dij Dijakovic extra head sculpt, remove the face paint, and then make an elite, you know, of Dijakovic or something like that. Not a perfect figure, but I do love his entrance jacket. I think that's really sweet. I think if you want to complete that retribution, you want to run them around as a stable on your shelf or in your fed or something, that's cool too. Uh, just not a very favorable character, you know, kind of dead on arrival, if you will, with everything like that. I just don't know a lot of people that enjoyed retribution. They were treated like a joke. They didn't make a lot of sense of what was going on. Not all their faults, though, but, you know, at the same time, they just kind of always came across as a shield knockoff a little bit and just failed miserably a little bit there and kind of wacky and goofy. But nonetheless, man, if you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I think if you were going to grab one of these, Ricky Steamboat is definitely a viable option. But if you want to complete that faction of retribution, go for it with T-Bar there. Never was a fan, but here they are in the plastic if you would like to grab them, man. Go over there, use code MDTOYS to save 10%. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the review. Let me know your thoughts down below, as well as leaving a like and subscribe to the channel if you would like to. Turn on that bell for all notifications. I'm getting out of here. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like retribution, man. I mean, all the members, besides Ali, Mustafa Ali, the rest of them were just, just, I mean, they just lived across the line. You crossed the line, I've been